think I may have found the best in class solution for relationship management and targeted lead generation. In this video, I'll be doing a full review and demo of folk.app. So if your business relies on building and maintaining relationships, then I believe this could be a game changer for you. And if you're using HubSpot or Pipedrive or Airtable or Monday to do what I'm about to show you right now, you might consider a worthy alternative. All right, so let's take a look at folk app. So all in one CRM for relationship management, this is going to be great for lead generation, recruiting, partnerships, investing. How I'm using this right now primarily is for hyper targeted lead generation and managing my in internal relationships. I have a lot of business partnerships. All of those people I need to keep in a central hub where I can access them when I need to. Now what's really cool about FocapP compared to anything that I've used before is how you can do everything all in one platform. It will extract leads from LinkedIn. It will enrich that data. You can contact people from within FocapP using their servers. So if you're a cold email person, you know that servers are a big deal. You can use their trusted servers to bulk email hundreds of people at the same time. It integrates with everything, and it's a really good way to keep all of the people that matter in your business all under one roof. If you're somebody who's using this for lead generation, and I highly recommend using a tool like this if you do sniper style lead generation, meaning there's only like a thousand or two thousand companies that would actually be a good fit for the service that you offer. This is the case a lot of times, and it's not good enough to just extract tons of data pour it into a sending platform and press go. And you can prospect those people from anywhere on the internet, not just LinkedIn. You can import them from Twitter, Instagram, or email. All right, so let's take a look inside FocapP so you can see what this actually looks like. We're now inside, and as you can see, my groups. After you've configured your settings, your sending email, it's time for you to set up your groups. What are you actually going to be using this for? Is it gonna be for relationship management? Is it for sales prospecting? If you click add new group, you'll be able to see a lot of the templates that they already have available to you. So if you're following this channel, that you're probably doing lead generation. So if you come into sales, you'll see that you can do lead tracking, sales pipeline, deal pipeline, partner management. I am going to be using all of these features. So a lead is somebody that you've imported from LinkedIn that you think would be a good fit, that you need to reach out to and get booked on a call. A sales pipeline is somebody that's a little bit warmer, somebody that you've already talked to and you've got them on the line. So you're probably going to need both of these lead sources. Now, one thing that you can do that's really, really cool is import leads from areas where they are already raising their hand and saying I'm interested so that you can put them into this lead pipeline automatically. So let me show you what that looks like. Let's come into my lead tracking pipeline and I'm gonna come and I am going to add contacts from an integration. Now, if I'm gonna add someone to my lead tracking pipeline, I'm probably going to be adding it from instantly.ai, which is where I send my cold emails. Once somebody is interested, I'll be sending them here from instantly. So to do that, we'll create a new zap. We'll go to instantly.ai. So when a lead is marked as interested, this is your trigger to add them to that CRM and treat them like a valuable lead. Once they raise their hand and say they're interested, now it's time to add them to your pipeline inside of Folk so that you can track them and make sure that you follow up on that lead. So we're going to go ahead and create a person and we're going to add them to that lead tracking list when somebody is marked as interested. So now this pipeline is going to stay full of interested leads. This is super valuable, guys. Now, if we were coming and doing this for a sales pipeline, we might want to add people from Calendly once they actually book a call. Now it's gonna go in the sales pipeline so that your sales team can give that person the love that they deserve. And look, they guide you along the way so you don't need to be an expert in order to make this work. Recommended integrations, Calendly, Zapier, Google Calendar, you can use all of these to trigger adding people to this sales pipeline. All right, now what is amazing about FocapP is that the leads that are coming in, this is one that just came in from Instantly, sourced from Apollo. The things that I can do now, such as enrich Perry's contact information, it is enriching it now, it has just added their LinkedIn, it's added their companies, and you can tell it's enriched because it's now got this yellow star next to it. And it's got all of their emails, including a personal email address. Now what's amazing about this platform is that you can email these people directly from your CRM. So say I wanna reach out to Perry. I can go ahead and send her an email. And instead of just sending a basic one-to-one -one email, I can actually put her into a sequence that I can develop within this platform and all of this is being sent from my email at my domain but from their servers so it's a guaranteed 
almost guaranteed to actually go through. And you can send hundreds of these at once. So say I wanted to email my entire Otter PR staff. I could message all and through their server, send an email at once to 141 people at my organization. And by the way, it pulled my organization through a Gmail integration. I didn't even put them in. Now, if you thought that was cool, watch how their extension actually works. So say I want to sniper some specific leads that are gonna be a really good fit for my company and I want to add them to this executives and founders group. So let's head to LinkedIn and let's go to social media marketing group over here. If I wanna add Josh Turner to that list in Folk app, all I have to do is open up his contact and then I've got my Folk extension right here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add this to my executives and founders group. Obviously I can choose which one and it's going to not only add him, but it's going to enrich that data as well. So let's go ahead and enrich Josh. There we go, we've got his personal email address. We've got his job title. We've got all of his relevant URLs. This is all the stuff we're going to need to actually close this lead. And now I can go ahead and open him up in Folk so that I can contact him by email in minutes. All right, but what if I prospect mainly from Instagram? Does it work here as well? So let's head in to the Folk extension within my Instagram app and boom, it identified Hermosi. I'm going to add him to that same group. Let's go ahead and do that. I am going to put his full name here. And now I've added him to my list within Folk so that I can prospect to him from Instagram. So now that we understand how we can mass email people, create email sequences, we can add data to these campaigns through the extension and then enrich that data. Let's look at some of the other use cases with Folk app. So investing, if you're prospecting to investors trying to sell your company or trying to raise money for your company, you're going to need to manage those partnerships very carefully. So they make it really intuitive for you to either raise money or sell your company because those relationships are very, very important. If you have a community or influencers, this is a great way for you to manage that community. For example, one thing that I'll be adding is podcast invitees management. I need to use this because I have a podcast that I run and a lot of guests who apply and a lot of people who have been on my podcast and I need a place to keep them and get in touch with them very quickly. If you're building links for your website, backlink outreach, competitor tracking, if you just wanna keep track of your friends and family and your network, do you have a place that you're keeping those people right now? Because I did not, but this is where I will be putting all of them. Partnerships, so do you have partnerships with other agencies, with other businesses? Do you have vendors that you work with? Or are you a vendor for multiple companies? This is a great way to keep that partnerships organized. If you run a PR agency like myself, what journalists do you have contact with? If you're recruiting, who has applied? And even if you're an HR, who's a part of your company? This is a great place for you to actually keep track of all of those things. Okay, so how much does Folk App actually cost? Well, much less than I thought it would based on what it actually does. So on a standard plan, it's $18 per member per month. Honestly, I'm probably just gonna have myself on this, but if you have a large sales team and you're using this for generating leads and prospecting, you might wanna consider upgrading to more members. Now, the big difference here is how many email accounts that you can connect and how many enrichments and AI fields you're able to execute. So if you wanna pay monthly, the standard is $24 per month, the premium is $39 per month. I started on the standard once I realized how much I'm gonna be using, we'll probably go up to the premium. But take a look at all of the things that this can do. Uh, for $39 per month, I think it is going to bury its competition. Now, one of my favorite parts about Folk App, and this one they didn't tell me I discovered on my own, is that it actually syncs with your email account. So any of these people they are interacting with, all of those records for those people are gonna be pulled from your email account into their contact record. So you don't have to guess about when's the last time you talked to them, what was said, it's all gonna be imported automatically and that is unbelievably convenient. Now the other thing that might be relevant to you because you follow this channel is how the email works. So you do have to add your custom domain and verify that domain. But once you do that, you're able to send emails from their servers to protect your own server, your own domain, and increase the likelihood that the emails actually get delivered. So if you're prospecting and sending emails to 100 people in one day, you can do that from one email address without buying a bunch of domains, setting up a bunch of mailboxes. This is a good way to do it. But of course, you're going to be a little bit 
limited by the plan that you have with Folk app. All right, so that is my full review and demo of Folk. This is something that I'm gonna be implementing into my business as partnerships have become more and more important to me. And if they are important to you or you think they're going to be, start doing this now. Don't do what I did and wait until the last minute to start importing all of those relationships into a platform. If you can upkeep this from day one, it's going to make your business much more valuable, it's going to make you much more valuable, and you're gonna get more out of those relationships. So that's Focap, guys. If you're interested in testing it out, there's a link down in the description. I do have an affiliate, I do get a small percentage of everyone that signs up, but this is a great app that's easy to use, and if you have relationships, you need to manage them correctly. Go check it out, and if you enjoyed this video, Give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed for more tools and resources like this. And I'll see you soon.